Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Gale's Gameplay of Goosebumps Horror Town. I am Grimokin, and we are going to be continuing off in part three. In part two, we kind of had a long, kind of, basically kind of a chill one. This one, we're going to be basically going ahead and just attacking the uh, quest lines. Basically, we're going to be finishing off Wolfbane's uh, short quest line, and we're going to be finishing off the first bit of this uh, chapter's quest line. So, with a few here and there, we're going to start right away. But, before I do, I just wanted to say that uh, I've been getting involved with the community a lot, and I've been uh, basically going on to forums like uh, Google, not Google, been going on to forums like on Facebook, like little groups they have there, as well as on like Reddit. So I've been kind of like talking to other people too with the game. So I've now kind of part of this community, I guess. So, you know, I've, I've kind of enjoyed my fellow townspeople, my fellow neighbors, as I would call them. Anyways, that without that on the way, let's just dive right in, shall we? So, here we go. Big the snowman reminds me of a poetry my mother used to recite to me when I was little. When the snow blows, when the day grow older, beware the snowman, my child. Beware the snowman, he brings the cold. Just saying it makes me feel colder. Maybe there's some truth to that saying. Brr. And as you can see there, I got the uh, last character, which is a jungle, like the piranha person. Let me think. How can I use this trip to impress Megan? Then she'll forgive me. Maybe I can take on the mountain hike and then save her from falling into a crescent or something? Young man, if you're thinking about going outdoors, you might want to send winter accessories. Oh no. We have plenty of supplies of everything you can get need right here in the lodge gift shop. Well, sure, if the price is right, and that is, my family never pays full price. I'm sure we could rearrange this thing, sir. Just step into my shop. Negotiate a discount, obtain handcrafted gloves, and place the wool shop. Ah, oh, Seder is involved again. Why am I not surprised? He's the lovable, greedy guy. I love him. He's he's not, like, he looks like he's a suspicious character, but he's a lovable, suspicious character. Anyway, she's going to be knitting. I love how he's just sleeping. As you can probably see from last video, I've basically made some changes. As you can see, I've gotten a lot of things fixed now. So... A lot of this area has been changed to look a little bit better. Again, slowly it's getting there, so you can see how my town is slowly evolving. Anyways, we'll need the wool shop. I think last time I called it something else, so it's kind of uh, disappointing. Let's go ahead and uh, take some time away. Again, like I said, I have to keep quiet when I'm yawning or else you just hear <laughs> but anyways. So we got some stuff coming on here. So I'm gonna stop this for now. Actually I might turn that back on later. Because I believe I need the sewing box kit for uh some of the items here, but yeah. Alright. So not too bad. Alright, let's see. Where can I put you? I think, uh... I'm gonna have you do that for now. I still need some residence house. Why do you need more residence? I don't need some more residence, but alright, whatever. Alright, now we've cleared all the paths. We got that building, we got that building. So we got both of these on here now. I think I'm gonna have to move this closer. There we go. Yeah. So, here's the winter snowman area. I'm gonna have him negotiate a price. He'll give us a beanie. I believe it's a one-time uh, thing. But anyways, let's have everything load in. Here's a new mountain. So as two of these snowmans, the creepy snowman here, and then Wolfbane. So that gives us 50% just as is, and Wolfbane will help us with 90. So let's have this kind of... Yeah, okay, now... Here we go. Now we have Wolfbane free. Now let's see how this looks. 90% to get all this. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my good. Oh. What? Eh. 
I did hard to comment on this. So you got snowmen basically going around smacking people like baseball bats, and then you have this one snowman just basically throwing up what looks like cold breath. Man, I'll be interested to see what the story is with these uh, with these monster characters, especially that creepy one. Like, good lord! Oh no! See, this is what I'm talking about. Why? Why does this always happen to me? This sucks. Oh no! He's he's escaping his route. He's gonna cause mischief and mayhem. I wonder also why. Um, just to make sense of this. Oh no, poor Brooke. She's getting spooked. I'm wondering why Wolfsbane isn't part of this. I mean, I know he's a new character and all, but I'm just curious in why he's part of this whole spook fest. Snowman throwing up. <laughs> Yeah, see what I mean? Look, he's just running all He's running on top of houses. He's just n no respect. No respect for the dog. Sanders seemed like he was spooked, but he seems like he doesn't care anymore. So that's nice to see. He's not too phased. Well, now he is, but. Huh. Man, this is taking a long time to get this uh, going. Isn't it? Huh. Oh, they're done now. All right. I don't know how long that was. That was that was some time. And look at that! I got myself the the cube thing. Not the cube thing. The the globe. Ah, three fifty. That's not bad. There's still a lot of stuff there though, so I'm gonna have to try to get that. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Just for now. No, now that I think about it, I might want to try to later on actually get more inventory at the bottom there. I think it's like 250 and at this point I'm gonna get lots of cash so it's like spending on something. Anyways, let's build this and um, hmm, I guess I need some items over here. That sucks! Brick! Ooh! Chemical Z, right. Okay. Let's see Wolfbane. I think the last thing we haven't checked with him was uh, chase some ghosts. So this is him just running around. So that's the night. Oh, so I guess the running animation, we've seen this before already. So all he does here is just running around. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Hey, Megan, I'm glad to catch up with you. I haven't seen you around. It's almost like you're... Uh, what do you want, Greg? I've been, uh, busy. I'd like to show you around the mountain. To make it special, I brought these fine hand knit gloves. hand knitting gloves. No thanks, Greg. Even with those gloves, I think I'd freeze to death out there. Besides, I haven't forgiven you. And you know the reason why. Wow. Cold shoulders. Is it because she, he turned you into a pig? That wasn't his fault. If I can just get Megan alone on the mountain, I know she'll feel different about me. If she had the right accessories to where she wanted to go, then she could show off a new outfit. Oh my goodness, just give up. You're thinking about going out on the mountain? Do you know that there's rumor that it's cursed? I'm not sure I believe it myself, but just so you know. I don't believe in curses, but maybe I should investigate a bit. Just to be sure. Investigate the mountain's history and keep an eye on Mrs. Marr and obtain a beanie. Yeah, that's, that's like 30 minutes. And i uh, going to have Marty be done here for three hours. Oh, nice. He's just going to run around just try to bully the teacher again. I want... Yeah, pff, I'm, dis I'm disappointed. I'm wondering if the, the mention of... Um, him doing this is probably part of like Christmas event in the same way like like we've just understood that Marty has basically went to the top of the food chain under Mrs. Mar because of the monster skates so I'm curious if this is just actually put into that Populace keep growing despite rumors circulation about uh, electrical based on this data the community team prepared a new survey we'll meet again when we have the result gentlemen thank you very much good afternoon so that's just a quest line of just building more towns. Oh, good, more. 
Most uh, 50% of new neighbors never heard of rumors about monsters inhabiting our city. The 30% of rumors that they believe that they did not. Blah 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 blah. Our city. Ugh. Couples residents. The problem is, I. It's not like I don't have the money for it. It's I don't got the room. Because the areas I can put them in look so stupid. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I have to move some of these trees all around, so that'll be fun. Great. Fantastic. I love how there's houses right in front of the Cursed Mountain. That way in their backyard they can look and say, Oh look, creepy snowman land. Of course. Who would forget Snowman Land? So you can make your own sandwiches here without those two other characters, but I feel like, why would you if you can do it by yourself, right? That just makes no sense. Alright, let's see here. You know what? I might as well get the uh, some of these paid, so let's get this here. Alright, I guess, I guess put this here then. Can I? No? Why is it looking like this? I want. Okay. Yeah, spend this. So that'll give us six hours. will give us a chocolate bar. So, you know, it's not really needed, but it helps, I guess. And the other building that costs money is the flower shop. Yeah, I already have the snowman army, so it's the flower shop. The flower mill, I should say, not the flower shop, but it produces flour. So I could technically put it there. That's That's so silly. All right, I've decided to put some of my uh, stuff down, and you see some snowman protecting the brigade. You know, I think I'm trying to find a good spot for this. I think I'm gonna put this. You know, what? I'm gonna put this right over here for now. I think that'll make it. Yeah, I'll just do this for now. Cause I have no idea just yet where to put this, but this will be your new home for now. Yep, there we go. Much better. Alright. See this. Megan's done. Marty, why are you following me around all the time? Do you have some something better to do? If I don't keep an eye on you, you might just eat somebody. Get used to having me around your shadow. I'm going to make sure you stay in line. Suit yourself. If you want to make a nuisance of yourself, I guess I can't stop you. Yeah, you're useless, Mar. What do you need to do? Huh. I'm surprised she doesn't have a quest line for this, though. It makes no sense. That's right. I'm going to do whatever I want. Investigation Mountain is a waste of my valuable time. Maybe I can hire a special to do it for me. I bet Ricky Beam Beamer would love the job like this. It'd be a win-win. Hey, Ricky, I have a job for you. But why do you look so down in the mouth? I can't help it. Something happened with Brooke and it just ate in me. Huh. Tell you what, pal. You and me will have an investigation. I'll see what I can do with your girl. Deal? Investigate the mountains. Obtain choco powder. I'm just going to call it cocoa. It's just chocolate powder. Whatever. So I need I need one more sandwich and I need a box. I think I got the box ready to go here. No, I don't. Okay, now I can make it. I need chocolate milk for some reason. Alright, so I just needed that, so I have to wait for that to be done. I needed this for this quest line. Which I guess I got, but that'll be for later. Okay, investigate. Yep. He's certainly investigating the mountain. <laughs> for for four and a half hours. Wow. I mean at least it's realistic for the time, but still, like oh boy. Really? Alright. While that's done, we got this doing here, so. Wolf, wolf. You sure act suspicious, boy. You must have been trained as a guard dog by someone. I'm glad you enjoyed your sandwich. Take care of yourself, okay, boy? I'll see you later. Ow. I'm sure he likes that. Hey, look, it's a big dumb dog. What are you doing in my way, dog? Oh, he's not happy. 
Oh, does the doggy not like me? Well, too bad. Get out of my way, you dumb mutt. Urgh. Woof, woof. Yikes, his teeth are scary. I thought there was a top dog, but I'm getting out of here. Ah! Chase the beast, uh, the beast, smelling teen. Obtain the portable snowman. Two of them. The beast smelling teen. Okay, so I guess they are implying that he does. Yeah, so I wasn't, I was reading that correctly. It was the beast smelling teen. So that must mean that it's implying that he certainly has the skates on there. That's, that's real interesting to see that there is a connection with these events. So that's cool. That's kind of cool to know. I'm wondering, though, if they're going to add some way for people who haven't played through the events to actually get some sort of context, if anything. Let's see, does he scare them? Well, Marty's right there, man. Yeah, go after him. No, yeah, okay, there you go. Now you're scaring him. So at least you're doing your job. You're scaring the, you're scaring the boy. He's starting up straight. That boy ain't right, man. Need some more cocoa. You're done your investigation. So I just need the cocoa, which I believe... No, I don't need that. I think I had some people already going on for it. So let me just... Click around here. I believe that's one. And I believe this is two. There are just all rumors about the mountain, Greg. Something different out of here. Although these stories have pinned quite my curiosity to safety, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, that's not what I want to hear. I guess I won't be taking Meg for a walk after all. Darn. I helped you, right? So, can you help me with Brooke? Hey, where are you going? I feel bad for, uh... I feel bad for... What was his name? That, that guy, anyways. Whatever. Oh yeah, so we're done this. Yay! Beware the snowman chapter one. What is this? Broke investigation, the mysterious of the snowman. Well, a sign. Will she find what the, in the snow? Oh, it's an evil snowman. That's his name. Okay. I guess it makes sense that he's an evil snowman. I'm starting to get bored cooped up inside the field trip. I should get my camera out. The mountain has a dark, broading quality. I bet it would be great in the black and white. I've always loved Instant Adams. Maybe I can emulate his style. Take pictures of the mountains, obtain snow powder. You know what, I actually... I... I like that, the fact that if you would take pictures of snow, like, in black and white. I mean, it wouldn't make a difference in the two of those. And he asked me to get a big... Uh, oh. I already have enough snowmen there, so that's great. Right. To have them just do snowman building. Yep, this this built some snowman. Okay, that's it. Here you go. All right. Oh dear. So you're done that. What else do you need for your quest? Oh, I need another one of those. I'm. Um, I'll wait. I'll wait for that to be done. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right, some time's passed, and got that. And um, I think we're going to click on Brook when it starts loading in. This picture of the mountain's going to turn out great. Hey, what's the wolfish-looking dog coming from? Grrr. Uh, nice doggy. I was taking pictures. Don't look at me like that. I'm leaving, okay? You shouldn't be here on the mountain, girl. Bad things can happen to folks who don't know their way around. Hey, it's there he is. Wolf, wolf. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Ah. <laughs> you got to talk to Mountain Man. Ooh, I'm glad I'm back inside the lodge. Has anyone seen the weird old man in the mountains? Hey, Brooke, I haven't seen the old guy, but I have been looking at the tales about the mountain. Ricky, I'm sorry, but don't come near me. I'm afraid of what you might turn into. Oh my god. Where are you out in the mountains? You should keep your distance from him. Something bad might happen. That's just what the old guy said. Are you two in cahoots or something? Just let me explain. 
I have a hot taco so you can warm up and I'll tell you. Oh, she already left. <sighs> I feel bad for Ricky, man. I really do. It wasn't his fault he turned into a creep. Investigate the Everwinter records. While having hot chocolate. Oh yeah, you're gonna investigate by just r riding your bike. And throwing newspapers at the same time. <laughs> How do you investigate if you're r if you're doing newspaper routes? Oh, okay. Alright, the logic there. Fine. Oh god. Alright, I think, I think we're about done here. For now. I'm going to make this a little bit short. I think there's still some more. Oh, right, right. I, I might as well try finishing off this. Yeah, so might as well do that, and then we'll be done. No, I don't want to do that. I already got this right here. I'm going to keep running until I sure the beast is off my tail. Wolf, wolf. Great dog impressions, right? <laughs> wolf, wolf. I'm back with the groceries, Wolf Spain. What's all the barking? What's going to work you up, boy? Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. I wonder if Wolf Spain's actually ran into a real monster. I got to check on him. I wonder who got who. I wonder what werewolf attacked Conrad. All right, boy. I'm, I'm back. No more messing around. Need to go after the evil snowman, just like I trained you. Oh. Besides eating up some snow, I will cool you off after all the intention of barking. Now get to it. Wolf, wolf. Spawn wolf spains from the snow mountain. Reach scarrow meter milestone. Obtain a snow globe. Well, that'll be easy enough. Not the scarrow meter. I have to do that, like... Oh. The scarrow meter is interesting because it it will depend on how much scares you have, how many characters you have, as well as how many scenes you have. And then from there, it'll calculate the percentage of how much how much scares you need so it will always evolve and make it fun so that's a cool aspect that they kind of do that mathematically so that it's always a challenge but it's not like if you're if you're like you don't have a whole lot it's not like game breaking i will say that when i had duplicates of the same item it did kind of screw up with the math so i ended up uh getting all that cleared up, which I'm happy about, and, uh, ooh, all this collecting of the statues, man, ooh, do much, I think I'm gonna have to move all those statues around, also, I love how I can just go inside the screen, and it's just black, like, blackness, like, nothing's there, going out of the ed edge of the world here, oh, man, all right, I believe once, um, once this quest line of Wolfsbane's done, I think that's when we'll, uh, not end it off, but, you know, like, just end this chapter off and then finish the last little bit in the next part here. So, let me just go ahead and just click some stuff. Oh, great. I'm getting, a, I'm getting, I think, am I getting a cold now? Oh, this winter breeze, man, please. This snowman is giving me, the evil snowman is, is really giving me a cold. Please don't. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna click all these. All these yummy, yummy scares. And look at that. I got the snow globe too. So now all I have to do is just kind of spoof up that and it should be good to go. And I need to do that as well, so. Yeah, so I have to do a scare on meter milestone. Alright, give me a sec. There we go, this should do it. Yep. Okay. There, boy. Have you calmed down now? Wolf. Good. I need my dog to have a clear head, understand? Now, uh, do you want to pamper? I don't want to pamper you. But maybe just this once, I'll feed you some of these lamb cu cutlets I bought back for you. Your favorite. Well, well, it seems like Conrad actually has a soft spot for his dog. Isn't that cute? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I should probably voice uh, Curly as Skeletor. Have him have the burr, have the bony talk. <laughs> I'm so sad that Conrad doesn't have an animation with his dog. Maybe in the future they could probably have something going on there. 
I mean, they're, they they've talked about doing like a a duo combo thing, so maybe that could happen. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Wolfbane's quest. So now all we have to do is just work on uh, this uh, the snowman one. So about this one here. So let's do that right now. So. As of right now, that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed uh, playing through it. Now, the last, this next video is going to be the last one to this quest line. And uh, it will show up the last little bit you get when it comes to the trophies. But I also threw in some other extras near the end. And I'm going to explain what I mean by this when it gets there. But, you know, this is it for now. So, if you enjoyed your video, let me know down below. Uh, I will see you next time. So, anyway, sorry, my fellow neighbors, my fellow neighborinos. Until next time, don't let the snowman give you a cold. See you later. Have a spooky one.